more step in preparing these valve covers. So last time I had put on these um, vents and what I've noticed here is that the, um, in, I've had oil leaks on all kinds of various ones of these, but what I've noticed is that um, on the inside here, there's a bunch of little things that have some sharp edges. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking this a little bit of sandpaper and I'm just going around, especially you can see right where the these little circles are. There's like some elevated uh, areas and I'm just taking a really fine grit sandpaper going around um, both of these valve covers just to make this a nice smooth edge here. So I already did that on this one as well. Um, so if I run my finger all the way around, it's, it's, uh, it's nice and smooth here. So after having sanded those, what I have is a new uh, set of these cork uh, valve gaskets, valve cover gaskets. I already cut this plastic a little bit. Let's try to make sure not to damage the uh, gaskets when I'm taking them out. Let's see. All right. So these guys. There's different brands of these, and I've noticed that some of them fit tighter and looser than other ones, and I just wanna make sure, for the sake of this, for the sake of this uh, engine build, these, that appears to fit pretty well. All right. So there are a couple of things that people do. People will put this in dry. Sometimes what will happen is the pressure will suck this up like this and you'll get an oil leak there. Sometimes people will put a little something just to hold this cork in place when you get it on there. Um, I'm gonna consider what I'm gonna do at the time once I get the heads. Um, but, um, you know, these are nicely prepped. Uh, with a smooth inside edge, a new cork gasket. 